Now as we continue with Around BCC to begin another year of our look at successful alumni in our community with Alumni in Your Community. Hi, I'm Denise Lawner, graduate of BCC in 1995. I grew up in Westport, Mass. All my life I've lived there. I grew up on Sanford Road and my father was a graduate of BCC. He went there for law, um, increasing his potential as a police officer. Uh, my sister also went to BCC for nursing and she um, is a nurse now and she loves it. I went to Westport High and I graduated in 1981. It was a couple of years before I started going to BCC because I actually went to Kenny Campbell Business School for travel tourism <laughs> in 1982. Graduated from there and there was no jobs or anything so I ended up, that's when I ended up deciding to go to BCC. The company I was working for at the time, Imperial Chemical Industries out of Dighton, was paying for my classes as long as you got a good grade, you know, got an A, they paid 100%, B, 80% and that's how I started going. I ended up having to pay a few classes myself because um, in between jobs and then I got another job in the seafood industry and they were paying my classes. I went to BCC for seven years part-time. I was working full-time and going part-time and it I just, it was a really cool place to go. I mean, it was, you know, it wasn't an uptight place. The teachers were really nice. I mean, it was a nice place to go to school. For one thing, any business, you need to know accounting. So I figured that was to give you a broad span of possibilities. And my mother, I had worked with several um, jobs after school when I was younger. She always worked in an office and she would get me part-time jobs in the summer or after school. So I had a little bit of the background and, you know, was getting into it and decided to further it. I thought it would be a little tough, but it wasn't. It wasn't. I mean, especially where I was going at night. I think maybe if I had gone back and gone at day with people who are all younger than me, it might have been a little weird, you know. But at night, everybody is all different ages. You know, it's every people go at night. Or most of them were working during the day, and you just get a real. There were some younger ones, but it was a good variety, and everybody was there for the same reason. So everybody got along. I never had a problem with anyone. It's and it's not a huge campus. It's you know a little low key, so things were easy to find. You didn't get lost. You know, it was just comfortable. After I finished that, I went for my computer certificate in all different kinds of computer pro you know not programming but programs itself using them in um, Excel things like that and I finished that also through BCC. In 95 I graduated I was working for a company um, Blue Gold Muscles which really did some cool things they um, had an aqua farm over in Rhode Island which I thought was really cool never saw anything done like that they seeded all the things on ropes and um, I worked there. I start. I worked there for like ten years, and after that, I uh, started my own company with two friends who are actually back in Europe now. They're from Europe, doing lobster cakes and seafood spreads. We had our own company called Marine Gold Cuisine. September 11th put a damper on that. Our biggest customer was John's Gourmet, and he lost like 36 customers. So that put us out of business because we had just started, and you know we couldn't afford the capital. So after that, I was out of work for a little while, and then I got a phone call from the accountant that I used in both of those companies and asked me if I was looking for a job. And I said, yeah, why, what do you got? And he called me and said, I got an interview with Tishan Seafood, and that's where I'm currently working now. I've been here for 10 years. It'll be 10 years next month. And I started working for, with a gentleman. This office was a little more crowded. There was another desk in here. And then he spanned it off, and now I run the accounting for Tishon and also four other companies that they actually have. We have fishing vessels that fish with scallops. We have a labor force company. We have a leasing company. They own property around the area. And it's uh, very hectic and very 
different. It's real different from what people know about an office. It's very crazy sometimes. <laughs> I've been married for 21 years to my husband Ray. And my baby is my little pit bull. Where is he? This is my baby, Shane. He's a little red nosed pit bull. And I don't care what they say about pit bulls, he's the most lovable thing. He'll lick you to death. Um, like I said, I've, I've lived at this house hmm, 17 years, right down from the high school. I love living in Westport. I don't think I could ever live in the city. I love living in Westport. Five minutes from the beach. I love helping out. I mean, the college helped me out, so I think I should help out and give back a little. And uh, so I'm friendly with Jane Ash. She calls, and we help out my company to um, give seafood for different fundraisers they had. Last year it was a gala, and it's for a lobster basket. This year we're going to do it again, but I'm also going to give scallops myself so that they can have scallops and bacon. And um, I've gone to quite a few of the fundraisers. And, just to interact with different, you know, other alumni. I just learned so much. I mean, as far as accounting, I mean, I would have, there was just so much I didn't know before. I mean, yeah, I was working in the field, but I was basically just the person behind everybody. And now I'm able to be the person everybody's under in my department. You know, and it made a big difference. I mean, I wouldn't have never gotten this far without the education that I got there.